Hey guys, Croupman here. So after seeing how well my 5900X and 6800XT rig has been doing on Wart, it made me think maybe I need to start testing the hash rate for the 5900X and the 3900X with the 30 series because I have a lot of 30 series cards that I'm either in the process of selling or are just sitting right now. So maybe we can combine them with my CPUs, which aren't that profitable, and see if we can turn a profit. So the first step to that is just getting some ha doing some hash rate testing and seeing what everything can do. So without further ado, in this video, I will be doing the 30 series GPUs paired with the 5900X and the Ryzen 3900X, which I think are the most popular CPUs for CPU mining. I'm going to get you the tech. I'm going to get you the hash rate numbers. I'm going to show you what they can do in the miner and I'm going to get you the wall readings. So after a quick word from our sponsor, let's get to it. Thank you to our sponsor, EMCD. So the point of this video is using my hardware to maximize its profitability. Well, hardware is only half of the equation. When you're mining, you also need to choose the best pool to increase your profitability, especially when you're on ASICs, where the name of the game is just how much money you can make. So if you're looking for maximum benefits, I recommend our sponsor today, EMCD. They have a top 10 Bitcoin mining pool with over 18 terahash on their pool, a low 1.5% fee and 24 seven support, which is why I decided to give EMCD a try. When they contacted me, I told them I don't really do Bitcoin mining and they, but they said they have other pools as well. So the pools that I plan on using are their LTC Dogecoin and Bells coin pools for my script miners, which I have one more coming. I'm very, very big into script mining right now. And I also plan on using their Ethereum Classic pool for my jazz miner, as I think now is a great time to mine ETC as well. But if you are into Bitcoin and you can mine Bitcoin, take a look at their custom firmware, which you can use to boost your earnings. And when you mine Bitcoin, you will be able to earn additional fractal bitcoin basically the reason i like script asics you mine one coin you get more than one you can apply the same to btc and for new users i've got a promo code code crewman giving you a 20 percent discount on pool fees for the first 14 days it's a great way to test out emcd's pool and earn some extra income on the side and that was the biggest reason they convinced me to try it as well to start mining with the best conditions check out emcd all right, guys, thanks again to them for sponsoring this video, and let's get back to it. One final thing, when you're calculating profitability for Warthog, you want to use this mining calculator. I'll link it down below and not the one on hashrate.nl, as this one is more accurate. So I'm just going to present you the hash rates and the power, and then you can plug this into the calculator and figure out which ones are best for you. And then at the end, I'll give you some opinions on what I'm personally going to start doing. So let's get to it.
Alright guys, thanks for watching. I want to go over a few quick things. The first thing you'll notice is I did not test the 3090 with the 3900X. I felt that the 3090 was horribly inefficient and not worth mining on wart. So I figured it would translate as poorly to the 3900X so I didn't bother. I didn't do the 3070 because as you can see on the 5900X, the 3070 is basically the same as the 3070 Ti. Which makes sense because wart... Uh, uses a SHA-256 der derivative and it's basically a core algorithm so that would make sense so the combinations that I honestly like best are either the 3070 or the 3070 Ti with the 3900X I think that's the combo I like the best now to be fair it's also the combo that I can easily replicate as I'm selling my 3070s and I don't really think I want to sell my 3070 Ti's yet, which is why I'm using those. But a 3070 will work good as well. I don't think the 3080 is worth it. I think it uses too much power. Again, not surprising since this is a core algorithm. And the 3060, it it did okay. But the efficiency, like, you don't really save that much in terms of power. Especially if you look at the watts from the wall. You're, you're looking at, like, basically the same power as the 3070. Which, again, kind of tracks with the fact that this is a core algorithm. So it will do worse and, and basically use the same amount of power. So those are my results, and I hope that helps. I'm going to do another video where I show you uh, how many of my CPU mining rigs I end up converting. And remember that when you're calculating your profitability by plugging all these numbers in and getting your own power reading, because it's very important that you get your own meter reading from the wall, to use the mining calculator that I linked down below, which is more accurate than the hashrate.nl1. So thank you very much to our sponsor, EMCD. It's a great mining pool. And if you have any ASICs, I strongly urge you to check it out. You'll see some more content from them on the channel coming soon. And thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe. I got some more work videos I'll be sharing with you soon. Enjoy the profits. Enjoy the ride. Let's hope the pump is just beginning. Man, out.